Hi guys, it's Rose. Okay, so in this video, I'm going to uh, show it to you on how I created this flower. Because someone asked me if I can do a tutorial, but I'm kind of busy, but now I have time to <laughs> create this flower and I can show it to you guys. Alright, so what you need to do is prepare everything. So you need a foam sheet and you need this one I love using these in my flowers and also you need a craft tweezer this one and also the PK success sponge I only have um, two different sizes the sorry for the glare the large one and the small one I cannot find the medium size I don't know if they have it or I don't know. So I got uh, only two of the sizes, and we are gonna we're going to do the big one. Easy for me to do a tutorial for using the big one. And the glue gun, of course, and that's it. So let's get started. So first is you need to punch um. Six petals, I mean six flowers, six of these, and then what you need to do is the one that I'm always um, doing in my flowers is put the flower in the foam sheet and then use this spatula, the, the tip of the handle to press it and then, not sure if you guys can see, oops, okay, I'll do this way. To press it and then press and then I'm gonna pull it to create the textures all the way in I mean all you're gonna do that in all of the petals so as you can see I already have here so I already did um, six of them and then we're going to assemble the flower now so first is you will grab this um oops i think i have to oh. okay so first you need to grab these petals this one and this one so we're going to put together just like that just like that and then we will put this um, some glue in here to adhere it first and then after that put the glue in the other side just a little bit and then adhere it so okay so once you do that you will growing you're going to grab your tweezers and then bend the petals and the other one okay and then after that going to adhere the other petals I normally start with the with this petal the first petal and then put it together then after that grab your tweezers and then bend the petals and then put the glue as you can see here I normally put two um, dots of glues in both of the petal I mean both sides of the petal and then stick it together and then grab the tweezers to bend the the tip of the petals and then put more glue and then repeat the procedure okay and then after that you going to put the glue in the bottom of the bud and then you'll grab one of the flower 
and then just like that. Okay, and then grab your glue gun again. And then just twist the the tip of the petals and then repeat the same procedure here so as you can see here I'm bending the left side of the petal first and then the right side left and then right and then I'm using my thumb to press the middle put the glue then adhere to the other and then left bend the left side bend the right side and then press the middle okay so we already finish um, putting the two flowers and then the third flower after the third um, flower is gonna be the easy one so I'm gonna do this quickly I'm not very good in tutorials, so bear with me. <laughs> but trust me, this flower is gorgeous flower. It's beautiful. So just takes time to make it, but it's worth it. And if you always do it, then it's not very hard to create it. okay so that's the third flower so just like I told you after you finish that third flower it's gonna be easy so what you're going to do grab another flower as you can see here we're going to adhere the bud into the bottom so put some glue there and then adhere the flower and then put the glue in both sides also here all the way to the petals and then after that going to stick together okay so and then after you finish that you will just gonna grab your tweezer and then you're going to twist the tip of the petals not actually twist just like a bend <laughs> anyway so adhere this a flower into the next one as you can see there okay and then put the glue again 
it's like what I'm doing into all the petals and then put all together so it's kind of easy to create the flower the only thing that it takes time is for the first uh, three flowers if you will assemble them and then after that you are going to grab your tweezer and then going to bend the tip of the petals just like this And then after that, the last flower, I mean, yeah, going to stick it all together. As you can see here, so just flip it over and then put that flower in there. And then the last one, I usually put one, one glue dot in the center of the petals. It's already 12. <laughs> there you go. My hands still have some kind of um, color because I just finished my my canvas and also the I create also some of the I made also some of the spray inks so it's kind of look like it's kind of dirty my hands so sorry about that but if I will not do this tutorial today I'm not sure if when we're gonna do it and hopefully i can explain it to you very well because i'm not good in making a tutorial that's why i don't do it <laughs> anyway so that's my flower so this is the handmade flower so hopefully you guys can follow it and there i go so you can see that still i also created um some here Okay, and by the way, that's my um, paper flowers, and I just want to share to you quickly my my first fabric fabric flower. <laughs> okay, so as you can see here, I have little, I have some of the fabric flowers here. This one is I called it uh, it's like a shabby chic flower. And as well as this one so for the I got this um, idea fo by following the tutorial of a little shabby chic yeah Trisha miss Trisha she's um, you know I am not I know that you guys already know her she's a very talented lady so I followed her tutorial tutorial on how great this one And I got this uh, fabric in Walmart, so it's like a one, two, three, four, I think five colors in one pack. I'm not sure if it's, if I'm not mistaken, it's $11 in Walmart. So I got that and also I created this one. So I'm just playing with the fabric, so I create this one. Another one. So there you go. That's my fabric flower. Just want to share it to you guys. <laughs> anyway, so make sure um, if you guys have time, you can make your own flower. So you can save money for that, and also can also you know can make it can make your project even more special if you incorporate your handmade flowers in those. All right, so hopefully I explain very explain well. So see you again. Bye.